Back on Inside Tennessee, we're going to take you outside of Knox County in a moment for some election results. But let's break down the town of Farragut mayor race, John. This is something you brought up on Election Day that people were watching closely, and it was close. It was close. Um, I'm not sure anybody would have assumed that they knew exactly how this one was going to turn out. It had been contentious, a lot of finger pointing back and forth. Uh, Ron Williams is the incumbent, and he had uh, put a message out on his Facebook page saying, I really hate that it's gotten this way. Uh, listen, I'm just trying to lead government, and I believe in love Farragut. He ended up winning, but it was an extremely close margin, as you can see there. Susan, you also touched on this in your analysis election night. You saw a lot of the back and forth because you live out in that direction. Yeah, I don't live in Farragut, but I'm close enough that I've, that I've heard a lot of the talk. and. I think it, it did get very contentious, and um, I think the current mayor was a little bit, had a reason to be concerned. It was, what, 50 votes or so? Um, and that's a really tight race. I and mean, we saw some really close races here. Farragut um, looks like the mayor's going to be there for another term, but I'm betting he's kind of kind of wiping his brow this morning and thinking that was close. And Don, when we look at big picture, uh, John and I were just talking off air. Can you say this was a good night for incumbents or how would you characterize it? Uh, sure, it was a good night for incumbents. And, you know, again, it was uh, despite the, the margins closing, it was still a good night for Republicans in a county race. Democrats won the seats that while it was a county race that, that are largely part of the city. Uh, but uh, it was a good night now region wide. Uh, if you were a sheriff in another county, uh, you had a good chance of getting beat, and several did. Uh, and there were some incumbents uh, on the, in the judicial side of the world, uh, judges, sheriffs, so forth, uh, that, that did get beat. And um, uh, so, but Knox County, good for, good for incumbents. I, I think that's very safe to say. You mentioned one of those sheriff's races in Cock County. I'm going to let you and John uh, handle this one because you followed it most closely. But we did see a change in Cock County. Yeah, it's an yeah, open seat, start. right? Yeah. Go ahead, Don. No, I, I'll say, I, I didn't follow that race as close as I did Union and Scott and some of the others. But, yes, there was a change. Uh, the incumbent didn't run. Uh, there was some controversy, as there always seems to be in Cock County. But uh, I think the perception is, is the right person won that race. And so, uh, but, you know, we looked, we, we had the sheriff in Campbell County ousted. Sheriff in, I believe it was Scott County ousted. Sheriff in Union County ousted had a general sessions judge and amanda salmons in campbell county ousted and she was she had a lot of controversy a few years ago so uh, we saw some changes in some of the some of our neighboring counties uh, in the criminal justice judicial systems and so uh, uh it, it sometimes being sheriff is pretty tough as we've even seen here in this county real quick just a correction uh union county sheriff billy breeding did retain sorry sheriff we sorry. Know you, you retained uh, we, we, we that's we, right it took a while we were sitting there waiting waiting yeah. waiting and uh but he did retain it and he he retained it by a couple hundred votes or so. Interesting the way that Union County also delivers its uh, <laughs> election results. I don't know if you were watching this, but this was a nuance of election night, John. Well, the, the newspaper there had the uh, Facebook camera aimed at the courthouse, which I've been to a few times, and they were waiting. There was a crowd that gathered outside the courthouse waiting for somebody to come out and deliver the information. It was interesting to watch. I went to bed before anybody came out, so I don't know when they came out. But you could see the, ta the, the town come out and wait for the announcement it was uh it was old school to say the least and quite an interesting nuance of election night all right we're back with more of our analysis and things we should take away from this election with don and susan when we come back